Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about skincare. Specifically this skincare that I've got in this handy little basket which I nicked from the bathroom. And Lisa's going to come in and she'll be like, have you taken the toilet roll holder? Because <laughs> this is what we keep the toilet roll in. And I'll say yes, but only momentarily, only for the purpose of a video. Um, she won't understand and she'll probably take it back. So let's try and get this done before that happens. I'm just going to be talking about not specifically my skincare routine, but just, yeah, some products that I've been using that may be of interest to you and my thoughts on them. Most of these I do really, really like, so... Yeah, let's get cracking and I think I'll start with cream cleansers because I'm a sucker for a cream cleanser. Okay, so I've got three cream cleansers and an oil-based cleanser to talk about. Each of these I would use as my second cleanse. So first of all, I'd take my makeup off with a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm and then I'd go in with a cream cleanser. Cream cleansers are great if you've got sensitive skin or dry skin. It doesn't necessarily get too oily so it doesn't need like a really, really deep clean. I'd recommend a cream cleanser. So the three I've been trying out, first of all, the Sukin Nourishing Cream Cleanser, the rose hip version. I think I've already mentioned the regular cream cleanser. If not, I do like that as well. Uh, but this one is specifically got rose hip in and I really like the Sukin rose hip range. It's going to help with scarring and pigmentation and so on and so forth. And yeah, I like this a lot. It's not like my favourite cream cleanser I've ever used, but I am really enjoying using it. And then the next most intense, like nourishing, of the lot is the Tropic Smoothing Cleanser. So this is the complexion purifier made naturally with green tea extract, golden jojoba and eucalyptus leaf oils. This is Gorgeous. I was using the pie cream cleanser which I mentioned in my pie review video funnily enough um, and I do like that one but that one claims to be an eye makeup remover as well and sometimes when I use that one I, when I'm rubbing it into my lash line to try and get rid of makeup it can sting my eyes this one is very similar to the pie one like in terms of consistency um, it's got a really nice natural smell but it doesn't irritate my eyes so if you're after something like the pie cleanser but you don't you've got sensitive eyes then I recommend this one it's one of my favorite products that I've tried from Tropic to be honest pretty much everything I've tried from Tropic I've really been impressed with they also have a nourishing cream concentrate which I've been using as well um, not so much recently but like a few months ago I was using it quite regularly and it's kind of like a a moisturiser but like a creamy gel moisturiser. It's very nice and it's good to like layer up when you're doing layers of skincare when you want to start obviously with your the lightest skincare ingredient. It's nice to wedge in between the serum that you're using and the like moisturiser or oil that you're using at the end. And then the last cream cleanser I wanted to mention is this one by Trilogy. I should have a whole video on Trilogy coming soon or already up so I'll link that if you're interested in more of the range. But this is their cream cleanser with rose hip, evening primrose and carrot. This comes in a glass bottle, the other two came in plastic bottles. It feels really luxury. Like this is an expensive brand, don't get me wrong, but it feels very luxury. Like I say, I love these two and I'm really enjoying using them, but like if these were a lotion for the face, like the thickness of a lotion and the nourishingness of a lotion. This is like an eye cream on the face, like it's the, that thicker, more luxury sort of gel cream consistency. And yeah, it doesn't take makeup off, whereas the Tropic one does seem to take makeup off. This one is a bit too thick to do that, but it's really, really nice and gentle and yeah, very much worth the money, I would say. A lot of Trilogy products are rosehip based or they've got rosehip in them. And yeah, it's one of my favourite ingredients in skincare, hands down. So that's that one. And then the last kind of cleanser I wanted to mention is actually an oil-based cleanser or an oil-based balm. And this, oh, just wait for it, just wait for it. It's by the brand S5, who are kind of like a sister company to Evolve Beauty, who I also really love. A really lovely skincare brand and I think this is like the kind of more bougier version of Evolve. Can't be confirmed but I have an inkling. And look at this. Look at this. Do you see that colour? This is a lovely second cleanse. This is a balm but it's not like a balm texture that you may be used to, like a cleansing balm texture. So for example if you've seen the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Butter, that is very much a butter consistency. Like it's kind of solid and then you dig your hand into it and rub it on your face and it turns into an oil. This kind of sits between a, a butter and an oil. Like it's kind of like a solid oil but it's not solid. And the yellowy colour comes from papaya enzymes and I love papaya. I never really realised this but actually papaya in skincare, like skincare products that I like, seem to have papaya in. And I think it's because it's quite good at gently exfoliating, like very very gently exfoliating. I did a sponsored video with um, Pure Papaya Care, which is a lip balm brand, they also do like body lotions and things like that. And I love that lip balm, it's very thin but it seems to just work really well. And yeah, that's also got papaya in, so I, I like papaya as an ingredient as well apparently. To make a comparison with this, it's kind of like Evolve's Cleansing Melt, I think that's what it's called. I did like that as well, um, that was kind of more effective at, at taking off makeup but I think this is this is slightly bougie. It's just a bit more luxury, you know, but it, it does the same thing. Like it cleans the skin without stripping it at all. Skin feels really nourished afterwards. And yeah, if you've got sensitive skin, it is aimed at dry and sensitive skin. And it's an expensive purchase, don't get me wrong. 
uh, but I like it. I do enjoy it. And I was really kindly sent this, so thank you so much, guys. Really, really have been enjoying that. Although, in the same breath, something else from S5 Skincare. This is the Restore Cream. And this, I, I like it, but it's not quite nourishing enough, I think, for dry skin. Like, it reminds me, again, of the Evolve... 360 cream multi-peptides 360 cream which smells very similar like this smells incredible it's almost like chocolatey but it's not it's like creamy sweet obviously not fragranced but it's just not quite nourishing enough i do need to add a few drops of oil into it and the oil that i've been using if ever i find a face cream is just not nourishing enough um i mean maybe if, you, if you've got oily skin or you've got slightly less dry skin than me or slightly less dehydrated skin this might work for you but i have been adding the strawberry booster by bybee to this and um, they do three oh no four now they've got four boosters which are these tiny little bottles of oils they're kind of like oils that you can either use on their own or you can add them to your skincare so that's obviously what i do with creams like this that aren't hydrating enough but yes this is 100 percent cold pressed strawberry seed oil it smells like strawberries and i know strawberries are quite high in vitamin a which is really good for your skin. Vitamin A is amazing for your skin. That's like, that's why Accutane works. I don't know if I've mentioned this more recently on my channel, but I used to have really bad acne and then I had to go on Accutane. Like that was the only thing that, like as much as I do recommend skincare products, the only thing that worked for me was medication. So I was on Accutane for six months or something. I've spoken about this before, but just in case you're new, I'm just gonna give you a little preface. Preface, preface. But the reason why Accutane works to clear your acne is because it's a strain of vitamin A and it was actually a side, effect of, a side effect of chemotherapy that it was discovered. I think, that's what the doctor said anyway. Like people who were having chemotherapy or radiotherapy, something like that. Oh god, I literally can't. This is my problem. I remember like the vague details of stories and so I'll, or like a fact or something, I'll remember like a, the vague premise of a, of a fact and then I'll tell somebody like a fun fact like, oh did you know, blah blah blah. And then they'll ask me to explain it or they'll, they'll prod me for more information and I just think like, oh god, I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, apparently people who were getting cancer treatment they, they started having amazing skin and I think that's how they discovered it and basically vitamin A is good for your skin end of story <laughs> let's just close that chapter because I don't know too much about it but yeah it would make sense that if strawberries are high in vitamin A that would make sense as to why this works it works very nice to make creams a bit more nourishing I love mixing and matching skincare as well like making little concoctions and putting them on my face so I've got two kind of eye creams to talk about the first one is by Trilogy and I picked this one up in basically Trilogy sent me some products and then I picked them up myself to include in like a big trilogy review video so this is one that I picked up myself but they sent me the cream cleanser sorry I always forget to say like what I was sent and what I wasn't but I give my honest opinion every time so but yeah I know it's important to disclose when and when you have and when you haven't been sent stuff um but yeah I bought this with my own hard-earned cash and it was pretty expensive for an eye cream like for a small pot it was quite expensive um for an eye cream in the grand scale of things probably wasn't that expensive I think it was about 23 pounds 25 maybe uh, but this is their very gentle eye cream and this is specifically from their sensitive range so this is like their main range like rose hip and that this range in the kind of paler packaging is for skin that needs very calming very gentle products and I really like this I think it's a very good eye cream I literally have no complaints I think that it's not heavy it's really nourishing uh, doesn't feel greasy at all I think it's lasted really well I've used it a lot and you don't need a lot at all you just need like a tiny little dab and you can moisturize all around the eye area the only thing that I would complain about is that it's not in a squeezy tube I do prefer eye creams to be in kind of like the 100% pure caffeine eye cream that one comes in like a tube that you can dispense onto your face I just think it's a little bit more sanitary instead of dipping your finger into a pot uh, but yeah it's a very nice eye cream and I would recommend this especially if you've got really dry eyes or you yeah your eyes get irritated a lot like the pie eye cream their Echium and Argan eye cream is that what it's called I can't remember the full name but like the only eye cream they do uh, that is it's nice and nourishing but this is much more nourishing than that one to give you a comparison and the other eye cream i wanted to mention is this eye dream balm so tropic do a i don't work for tropic by the way i feel like people always think that i work for tropic because they have like ambassadors like avon people who say like tropic is the one like they message people on instagram like oh i work for the i have my own business oh no that's arbor I get confused. Albon has ambassadors, Tropic has ambassadors. I am neither of which ambassadors. Although I do kind of feel like I love Tropic so much, I probably should become an ambassador. Cause like, this stuff sells itself. It's so good. But anyway, I love their face balm. This is their Tamanu healing balm. And I spoke about this in my last skincare routine video and I'm getting to the bottom of this now. So I'm trying to use it sparingly, but gosh, it's just gorgeous. 
kind of smells like curry spices <laughs> but it is so nourishing if you've got dehydrated skin or dry skin i highly recommend this or even i got a message from someone saying that they didn't actually go and buy this but they did some research into manu oil as as like an ingredient and i think they i don't know if they got pure tamanu oil or they got something with tamanu in I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm just doing guesswork here. And they said that it was it like saved their skin. They said it's made made such a visible difference in their skin. So yeah, that's that's amazing to hear. Like you don't necessarily have to like buy these products, but just maybe if there's an ingredient that tickles your fancy, you like the sound of, obviously do your own research and you might find a skin saviour. Yeah? Um, but yes, I love this on the face, but the only thing is when you put it quite close to the eye, it doesn't sting, but it kind of makes your eyes do you ever get it with skincare when your eyes kind of go a bit cloudy? I don't know if this is normal, maybe I'm getting stuff in my eye, but just sometimes they can get a little bit irritated, like not, it is very very gentle, don't get me wrong, but yeah, I think I understand why they came out with an eye balm, like a separate eye balm as well. This eye dream is described as an age-defying overnight butter balm, it's basically like a face balm but for your eyes, and I like it a lot, it's not, it takes a bit, a bit more warming up than the, um, tamanu balm does like you need to kind of warm it up on the back of your hand and then apply it but yeah it's really nice very gentle and something a bit different like i haven't heard of a brand coming out with an eye balm before so really like this i do really enjoy balms for the face i just god i just can't get enough moisture so yeah that's that um we're getting to the end here guys don't worry i feel like i've been talking about skincare for a, what feels like an age let's try and group some things together um let's cover serums in one hit i've already talked about this osea oil on my channel but I have been loving their hydrating oil this is like one of the best oils I've ever used it is so hydrating and I feel like maybe this and the pie bioregenerate oil are two of my favorite oils maybe also the baby one those three I just find I get the most use out of them and I notice the most difference I may be forgetting one but yeah I really really love this Osea oil it's very very nice these two serums also very very nice I'll start with this one this is by Evolve and gosh the amount of people I've seen post about this on Instagram this is speaking of Osea it is kind of similar to their C serum that kind of slimy gel texture serum but this is chocked full of hyaluronic acid it's the hyaluronic serum 200 for all skin types with 200 me megagrams milligrams God, it's because I work in like video or I'm always talking about like megabits and gigabits in terms of the size of files. That's why I said megagrams. <laughs> Disclaimer, not an idiot. Um, but yeah, hyaluronic acid is amazing for hydration, but you should follow this with a... So if you use like a hyaluronic acid face mist, then you use this and then you use a cream or an oil on top. It will like seal it all in and hopefully the like hyaluronic acid holds a lot of water it will like draw water out of whatever you put on top but i would say definitely follow this with a cream or a lotion or a potion or an oil just because then it can it's got something to draw from other than like drawing it from your skin because sometimes i've said this before and this has got no scientific basis behind it at all but sometimes if i don't top my whatever i've used with hyaluronic acid in with something else it doesn't work as effectively this is so good and i feel like it's so good for so many different skin types but for like plumping and for just making your skin more hydrated it is a great serum it's one of my favorite serums i've ever used and yeah i've seen so many people post about this like i say and give it really good reviews it's got great, great reviews online as well and i feel like whether you've got dry skin dehydrated skin or oily skin this is yeah one of the best out there really nice specifically for plumping and hydrating um a serum that is specifically for calming this is the s5 calm serum for sensitivity and redness to compare it to something i've been trying the trilogy serum from this same sensitive range and this is similar but it's just a bit more nourishing it's equally as calming but it, yeah a little bit more nourishing and a, a really nice serum i feel like i'm just saying this is nice and this is nice and this is nice but honestly a lot of this stuff is really really nice a skincare tool i wanted to mention this is oh god i actually can't remember what these are called but thank you so much to the person who recommended them i oh, why did what was it they replied to my story what was my story about oh yeah i was using <laughs> basically i was using some of the 100 percent pure eye patches um, they're like the bright green eye patches that have been making them for ages and they are good but I was I like put them on my smile lines here so it kind of looked like a moustache because I don't know I figured they'd do the same thing underneath the eyes as they do on the face put it on my story on Instagram and somebody replied saying have you tried one of these what are these called I actually I don't even know what to google I'm just looking at what these are called because buggering titties what are they called gua sha gu, gua sha 
I, I can't pronounce anything but it's spelled G-U-A space S-H-A sorry for mispronouncing that but this is basically a little massage tool for your face it, you can get it in rose quartz you can get it this is jade um, and I just got it off of Amazon it was really really affordable and I've been using it so much and like it's it's so relaxing it's so weirdly relaxing basically what you do is you take different sides of it and you rub it against your face so I start on my neck um, and I kind of do like 10 strokes each time and then I'll do it here I'll take this kind of pointy bit and do it here and then I'll go along my jawline I'm not an expert at this by the way I just kind of mix and match sometimes I'll follow a YouTube tutorial sometimes I'll just go with whatever feels good take it here I kind of take it oh no this way up on my like cheekbones I'll like pull, pull up but not it, it's weird because you'd think it'd be quite rough because obviously it's a stone that you're rubbing against your face but it's so smooth there are no harsh edges on this at all it was under a tenner off of Amazon like you could probably get more expensive ones I think Beauty Bay sell one that's like £37 or something Cult Beauty probably also do a really expensive one as well but I think they all pretty much do the same job um, I take it along my brow bone as well and like on my forehead and it's supposed to depuff and lift the skin and to be honest I do notice that it depuffs the skin but the, the, the thing that I mainly notice is how I feel afterwards like I feel so it's so odd I feel so awake and you know like after you've had a massage or something, not that I regularly get massages, but like the one time I had a facial, um, she was massaging my face at the same time, and like afterwards I felt so awake and like invigorated, and that's what this gives me. It's, I couldn't recommend it enough to be honest, it's worth a try for under a tenner, and the person who recommended it said that it's good for kind of like smile lines as well, she said that her, she or he or they, said that their smile lines had gone since using this or like had really been reduced. I'm so sorry I can't remember who it was that messaged me. Uh, my memory is like a sieve. But yeah these are like traditional, to my knowledge they're part of traditional Chinese medicine or chi Chinese skincare so I think they've been used for a long time like people love them and I understand why. And then last but not least just these two to go. I did have these two products to talk about but I've actually mentioned these in other videos so I'll link those if you're interested. This is the Trilogy um, Hydrating Face Mist and then the other one is a bronzing oil by the brand Duvals. I'm trying to keep this as short as possible. I've just got a product from Evolve and a product from Osea. Um, the Osea Anti-Aging Body Balm recently came out, well I say recently actually, maybe towards the beginning of the year. I can't believe we're in May or like towards the end of May. Time literally flies. When you've got a full-time job and I sound like such an old fogey, but genuinely, because you kind of, you only really make plans at the weekend, realistically. The weeks just fly by. Um, but yeah, towards the beginning of the year, Osea released this anti-aging body balm, and I have mentioned this on Instagram, but it literally sinks into the skin like butter on warm toast. Vegan butter on vegan bread that's been toasted. It's not oily at all, it's not greasy at all. I don't know about anti-aging, obviously it's very hard to tell if something's anti-aging, and I personally don't know if I believe in anti-aging like how can something reverse aging or pre well oh yeah prevent aging but anti-aging suggests that it makes you it reverses it which i just call me a skeptic but i don't think you can stop the beautiful process that is aging um but regardless this feels lovely on the skin it's very very gentle so gentle that i actually sometimes also just rub it on my face as well it doesn't irritate my skin it smells amazing the first ingredient is coconut oil so if you don't like coconut oil you might not love this but i personally don't like coconut oil you know people recommend coconut oil as like a multi-purpose product that you can use as a lip balm as a face oil as a body oil i don't like it i've tried it i've tried different brands um, I find that as a lip balm it doesn't work, it wears off really really quickly. On the face it doesn't seem to hydrate my skin but for some reason I really like this. It's got loads of other nourishing oils and ingredients in it as well and like I say it smells really natural. It doesn't have any like perfume or fragrance in it but it does smell really lovely. And then last but not least face mask. This is the Evolve Radiant Glow mask. Sorry there was so much Evolve in this video, I genuinely love them. My favourite, actually loads of my favourite skincare brands are in this video. Osea, Tropic, Evolve, love them all. Bybee as well, love them. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm sorry that I'm repeating myself quite a lot. But this, what, putting this on my face feels like I'm smothering hot chocolate on my face. No, 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 not hot chocolate. Brownie batter. Feels like I'm smothering my face in brownie batter. It smells like brownie batter. I'm not convinced that it's not brownie batter because it smells incredible. But it's basically a mask that you put on dry skin and it's got little exfoliating particles in but you leave it on for like 10 minutes or so, introduce a little bit of water and it will turn into a bit of a milk and then it's the, the exfoliating particles are so gentle. The particles in it are actually from blueberries and the blueberries themselves are like waste from the food industry. And I've mentioned before but I love when, oh I've spoken about this in a vlog before haven't I? Because I went to the relaunch of it, like the reformulation of it. They used to use 
coconut in it and now they use blueberry offcuts from the food industry which is amazing i love seeing that kind of dynamic in the beauty industry trying to make things a little bit more sustainable a bit less wasteful and i don't really notice that this, i'm not gonna lie don't really notice that this brightens my skin at all but i love it as an exfoliant like a very very gentle exfoliant around my nose even on like around here so i kind of avoid this area of my face when i'm using a physical exfoliant um i just kind of keep it around my nose and my t-zone but actually i use this all over my face and it resurfaces really nicely without being too aggressive and harsh on the skin so yeah that is the last thing i wanted to mention thank you so much for watching um i really hope you enjoyed if you want to know anything more about these cruelty free brands with many vegan options i'll leave obviously the names down below if you're interested and if you want to see some more vegan and cruelty free stuff and things then make sure you subscribe oh my god i sound like a newsreader i don't sound like a newsreader at all but i would love it if you join me again for the next update for the six o'clock report thank you and good night bye <laughs>